So many of, of us have been there. We own a valuable mare, whether it's based on purses earned or prizes won, and we decide to breed her. We want to replicate that greatness. So we scour the world and we find a stallion that matches her well. We hire a great reproductive vet. They come out, they scan her, and they say she's ready to go. And then we breed her again and again and again, and the same outcome happens every single time. She does not get pregnant. The weird thing about this mare, though, is that instead of getting pregnant, she actually seems to be irritated by the sperm that we're putting in her. Her uterus is inflamed and full of fluid. In the field, we call these mares dirty. But in medicine or in research, we know that they actually suffer from a disease known as persistent breeding-induced endometritis, or PBIE. And that's what I've been studying for the last four years. Now, in the field or on the farm, vets have a variety of options to treat these mares. Many of them turn to antibiotics, which we all know are garnering a lot of resistance and aren't a cure-all to anything. Other practitioners are using steroids like dexamethasone, which, although it's a potent anti-inflammatory, it also has a lot of systemic effects throughout the body, including suppressing the very hormones that we need for these mares to ovulate and maintain that pregnancy. So we decided to go back to the drawing board. What can we use as a therapeutic that's not going to gain resistance and isn't going to have systemic effects? And we found something that might actually work, lactoferrin. Lactoferrin is a protein that's found throughout the body in a variety of tissues and secretions, including the very semen that's already being put in the mare at the time of breeding. We saw that when we inseminated six mares that suffer from this disease of PBIE with lactoferrin added to the insemination dose, that they actually had a suppression in tumor necrosis factor, or TNF. Now, TNF is a potent pro-inflammatory cytokine. So by lactoferrin decreasing its expression, it's working just like dexamethasone as a natural anti-inflammatory. So we know it's already made in the body. It's not gonna garner resistance. It's safe, and it shouldn't suppress any of those hormones. Where do we go from here? I wanna go back to the field. I wanna see not only does it have an effect on these cytokines or signaling molecules, but does it have real outcomes? Do these mares have a uterus that actually is less irritated after we breed them with lactoferrin? Do we actually see an embryo get to the uterus? But more importantly, do we actually see a viable and living foal at the end of gestation 340 days later? I hope to have answers to that, and I hope they're good answers. Thank you.